Okay, now this is question four. Um, all right, I've got another set of equations here. 5x plus 4y equals 16, and 2x minus 7y equals 15. Um, okay, so again, I have to come up with a plan in order to cancel one of my variables. Now, in this one, I look at it, I see that it's not easy to change a 5 into a 2 or a 2 into a 5. It's also not easy to change a 4 into a 7 or a 7 into a 4. So I'm going to have to multiply both equations. So let's think about um, what am I going to multiply both equations by. So I'm going to put my parentheses um, so that something cancels. Now remember, um, we can just take both equations and I'm going to go ahead and do x's. Okay, um, And all I have to do is take that 2 and that 5 and flip them. So I'm going to put a 2 on top and a 5 on bottom. Now, the other thing I need to consider is, do I need to have either one of those be negative? And in this case, I do. And the reason is that my 5 and my 2 are, are positive right now. And remember, to cancel, I have to have one negative and one positive. So I can just make either one negative. It doesn't matter if it's the top or the bottom. I'm just going to make the top negative. So now let's see what we get after we do this. So negative 2 times 5 is negative 10x. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8y, and negative 2 times 16 is negative 32. I'm making a video. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and grab a calculator for this part, too. Sorry, there's other teachers in my room being so distracting. Um, all right, now 5 times 2 is 10x. Uh, 5 times negative 7 is going to be negative 35y. And then 5 times 15, I'm going to do that in my calculator real quick, is 75. All right, good. Now I've got two equations where I can cancel. Um, I can cancel the x's because I've got a positive 10x and a negative 10x. Now, uh, negative 8 uh, plus negative 35 is going to be negative 43y. And then 75 minus 32, or 32 plus neg or negative 32 plus 75, I do it on my calculator, is going to give me a positive 43. Now that's nice because when I divide by negative 43 on both sides, I'm just going to get y equals negative 1. Now we know that we're not done yet. We need to plug that negative 1 back into the original equation. Um, I'm going to plug it into the top equation. So I'm going to go 5x plus 4 times negative 1 equals 16. Okay, so we have to multiply that 4 times negative 1. It's going to give me a negative 4. Now I can add 4 to both sides. Okay, so I'm going to get 5x equals 20. Now I divide both sides by 5. Sorry, that's a, I'm going to make that, that's a 20, not a 28. 20, good. And I see that x equals 4. Okay, now I write it as a point. And I'm all done, that's it. Oh, look at that, I even clicked out my homepage.